He mm-hmm. talks about in the in the introduction. Our Holy Father talks about how uh, you know about God and God's mercy. Mercy will always be greater than any sin. No one can place limits on the love of God, and who is always ready to forgive. And he goes on to say here uh, yep. in the introduction: the devil, through his ordinary action, which is temptation, and through his extraordinary action, which is the subject of this book, tries to destroy the confidence of each man and each woman to love and to be loved. Mm-hmm. So that's where that, that idea you mentioned before about fear, right? Absolutely. I mean, uh, the devil uses fear on three levels. And, and the Holy Father, of course, has the, the, the most fundamental level. I mean, the, the first level the devil wants to, to, to use is God's not here to protect you. It's just you and me to duke it out. And don't sucker for that, mm-hmm. right? I mean, the minute you, you begin to believe that, just start saying the prayer of St. Michael immediately, right? You know, uh, St. Michael the Archangel, protect me, Mother Mary, protect me. In the name of Jesus, be gone, Satan. That's the end of it. Mm -hmm. That, and and that, so long as you can't be talked out of uh, saying God's not here, uh, St. Michael's not here, Mother Mary's not here, if if you can't be undermined in that Mm -hmm. confidence, he can't use that anymore. So you gotta go to another level of fear. And the next level of fear is, Boy, oh boy, Spitzer, you are very (laughs) sinful indeed. And of course, I mean, no one knows your sin like I know your sin. (laughs) And I'm telling you right now, you are not worthy of of the collar you wear. You are not worthy uh, to be called a priest. Boy, can I enumerate your imperfections, <laughs> right? And of course you start getting right immediately. You, you know yourself, you say, I do have those imperfections, but you forget exactly what the Holy Father said, that in God's mercy, He's not only forgiven us if we have asked him sincerely for forgiveness, he's not only forgiven us, he's already healing us. He's already entering into us. He's already working, right? Happy fault, we say at the Easter vigil during the exalted, right? You know, he's already working through our faults to actually bring us to a higher level than where we were before. So what we have to remember is, hey, we are imperfect. However, God is making us worthy for him. We're not making ourselves worthy. He's basically helping us, healing us, uh, forgiving us, showing us his mercy. Yes, we've, we're filled with imperfections and the devil will just sock it to us, right? right, If, if we can, if he can. So just before we go to the break, what what would number three be maybe just before we go to the break? Number number three three, is despair itself to lose hope. And that's where what the, the devil finally says is not that you're just imperfect. You know, what, who are you to contend with me, mm-hmm. you little, you know, peon? He says instead, you're so imperfect, no one can love you, not even God. Mm-hmm. And of course, what he's going to do is exactly what the Holy Father says. He's going to try and convince you God's love is not unconditional. Right. He's going to try and convince you that God's love is not infinite. Therefore, your sinfulness mm-hmm. can be darker than God's light. That's what he's going to convince you. And then once he's got you in the grip of that, you know how it is with the eros of death, right? Mm-hmm. After a while, you start spinning downward, mm-hmm. right? Where you all of a sudden you just say, you know, I give up. Right. You know, I can't do it myself. Of course we can't right. do it ourselves. This is the ultimate deception. Right. We can't do it ourselves. But he's going to say right. to you, you know, it's all over for you. You know, just give up. Why don't you and kill course, yourself? If he can get Suicide, things yeah. like that are, are the, exactly. uh, where we see things like that happening.